In this video, you will learn how to design a full denture in dental system. After you have scanned the models with the wax rim, you will move to the design step in Dental Designer. At first, we need to define the occlusal plane with the help of three control points. You can see here that our wax rim comes in very handy, defining it easily by following the line which the dentist has arranged. Keep in mind that placing the second point defines the direction for the front teeth. If the middle line wasn't defined by the dentist, you can verify this yourself. Make the lower model less visible and place the occlusal plane in relation to the palatal suture. Click Next when finished. For those of you who have worked with our previous version, it will be easy to see that the characteristic points for mandibula have changed. Now there are a few more points to define. Start with maxillary points. Select the tuberosity. Next, incisive papilla. Second, tuberosity. And two canine points. Now let's select mandibular points. Start with three points for retromolar, center, buccal, and lingual. Then come central ridge. Another three points for second retromolar, center, buccal, and lingual. And two points for canines. The position of canine points determines the teeth library selection. Therefore, they should be placed on the model in such a way as to coincide with the lines arranged by the dentist. When you are ready, click Next. This step is similar to the one while designing RPDs. Select the Draw Outline button and then use a pencil to draw the lines for the upper drawer. You can do it in two ways, either by placing points one by one or holding the mouse button and drawing the line simultaneously. There are a few more options here, which you can use to modify a previously drawn outline. You can move separate points to the new position. You can add a new point. You can use the fast edit spline and easily reposition the outline. And finally, you can remove a point or delete a whole spline. Now do a similar procedure for the lower jaw. When you have the outlines marked, click Next. Moving on to the surveying and blocking out step, the software will calculate the proposition for the insertion direction, showing also the undercuts on the model. If you are going to make a try-in denture, you might need to block any undercuts with the help of wax for the upper jaw. And next, the lower jaw. You can skip this option if this is something that you don't need. Further on is the FD design step. As you can see, a default setup of the teeth is already made by the software. On the bottom of the page, you've got a big view showing the preview from teeth libraries. We have different libraries and different styles here, from which you can choose the one you prefer. For each of the libraries, you have a proposition for a different style. There are groups of teeth, either for an upper or a lower jaw. After you choose the library you prefer, click the Apply button to save the changes. At this point, we also provide a few more tools, which will help you with the design. The first is occlusal plane adjustment. Basically, this tool is very helpful when working on custom-made teeth. It will let you move the teeth as if you were moving the occlusal plane. Our second tool is Arch Setup. Under this option, you've got Symmetric Mode, Distal Mode, Show Overlaps. From the additional options, you can work with Symmetric Mode, where adjusting one tooth will reflect on the other one from the opposite side of the arch. 
you can switch to the distal mode and move the whole group of posterior teeth all together. The Show Overlaps option will give you information about what kind of overbite or overjet you have. In here, you can use the Occlusion Map slider to view the distance between the neighbouring teeth, as well as the distance for upper and lower jaws. At this stage, you can hide the upper model using the upper jaw slider and rotate the lower model to see the top view. As you look closer at the lower arch, you can see visible colour lines marked on the surface. Those lines are aligned according to the rule of Pond's triangle. If you need to define a different position for a tooth, you can use the individual transformation tool and rotate one tooth or two at the same time, whenever you check the symmetric design option here. If you are happy with your design, you can click Next and move further to create denture bases. In here, the base was already selected. However, we will still have the possibility to predefine the material settings. To generate the design, choose the Preview button. After that, you can move to the Mandibular Base sub-step. Do the same as before and click Next to move further. At the Sculpt Toolkit sub-step, you can add more material near the cervical area or on the palatal suture. and smooth the surface. In the pre-manufacturing sub-step, you can predefine the process type and other settings for the final restoration. You can also preview these settings by clicking on the Preview button. At the end, being in the Save step, you will see the final design. Now you can close Dental Designer and send the restoration for production. You have now learned how to design a full denture in Dental System. Thank you for watching.